Hi everybody, welcome back to Rainbow Acrylics. My name's Claire. I've just done a really cool heart swipe um, and I used, I made a stencil for the shape of the heart, swiped it um, and it, just, it, came, it came out really well. So I'm going to do a really similar process but with a star shape. So I've placed um, some tape, some frog tape onto a canvas to create the template, the stencil. I'm going to swipe I'm going to put the paint in the centre, swipe, take the tape up and then swipe outwards. Um, the last one works really pretty well, so I'm really excited to see if I can do the same with a star shape. Um, so let me show you the colours. So these are the colours I'm using. I've got some Montmartre white. This beautiful colour here, this is pearl white with a tiny bit of blue added to it. So it's really sparkly. I've got Pebeo silver. I've got Deco Art amethyst. And then I've got Pebeo iridescent um, blue black. So my canvas is here all set up ready. It's a 30 centimetre canvas. So I drew on by hand, first of all, the shape of the star. Then I've gone around the edge with the frog tape. So I'm going to put the colours in the centre and I'm going to swipe that. Then I'm going to lift up the tape and then swipe outwards. The paints are pretty fluid. They're mixed with PVA glue and water um, and I've mixed them two parts a PVA pouring medium to one part paint. So they're pretty running, pretty fluid. Um, I'm going to add one drop of coconut milk hair serum into each of the colours, except for the blue, because I'm going to use blue for the base, for the outside. I don't want any silicon in that. I want just silicon in the colours that are going to, I'm going to swipe in the centre. So at the edge of my star, I'm going to put silver. So I'm, what I will do is swipe inwards, but then afterwards, I'm going to swipe the silver out over the blue because I think that will look really pretty. I'm going to put quite a thin line down. So I'm just going to use my stir stick just to apply the paint. I think this will be better than pouring it because if I pour it, I think I will just get far too much paint. Now, one big difference on the last pour I did with the heart, I put a little bit of varnish down at the edges here to seal it. It didn't particularly work because the varnish lifted and it peeled off a little bit. So the I, the painting has has got a little bit of um, sort of texture to it where I where I put the varnish. So I don't want that this time. So if it bleeds underneath, it doesn't matter too much. Right, I think I'm quite happy with that. So some of it is on the tape and not on the canvas, but that's fine because I'm going to be swiping it inwards to start with. Right, looks a bit odd at the moment, but should all become clear in a second what I plan on doing with this. Right, to swipe, I've got paper. Now this, this piece of paper had a little stir stick in. It's just flimsy paper. I'm gonna try this, see if this works, because it's nice and light and flexible. So I think I'm just going to start from the points, swipe, swipe them in.
Now, I'm not particularly liking that piece of paper because it's actually a little bit too flexible. I'm going to go back and use a piece of laminated paper, I think. It's just that bit firmer. So I feel like I can get a bit more control. I've got a lot of paint on here. So I also want to try and lift a bit off with, with the um, swiper. So I'm now just going to go probably just in the centre. See, look, I can push down a lot more and draw a lot more paint into the centre and then I can remove it. Right, I'm going to torch it now and just see what happens. It looks a bit strange at the moment. I'm hopefully, I'm hoping once um, you've got, I've got lots of nice cells, it will look a lot prettier. Right, I think I'm really happy with that. Where it gets a bit swampy in the centre, once you talk, once I've torched it, it doesn't really show because it all becomes really pretty, but with the irregular cells. So I think I'm now just going to take my tape off. Right, really quite happy with that. It's really pretty. And now I'm going to pour some of my blue around. I don't have that much blue. I'm a bit worried now I've seen the amount of negative space that I might not have enough here. Let's just see what happens. So what I'll do now is just very, very carefully swipe outwards. So the concept is definitely there. However, it's it's not. I haven't perfected the con the the technique yet. Um, it's worked, but the colour you can see has not held here. It's um fallen over the edge of the star. So I think what I will probably end up doing is sharpening that up by hand when it's when it's dry. This one's perfect, but this one I think it's that deco art purple. Um, and the same up here, it's kind of run over the edges a little bit more. Um, the effect of the silver over the blue, I absolutely adore. I love how smoky that looks, how sparkly it is. Absolutely love that. Um, the only other problem I, I encountered was that the blue black is a transparent colour. So can you see here along the edges where there's the paint is thinner, you can see the canvas through so easily. So I'm going to have to go over when it's dry 
and just like there and fill in some of those places. Um, the edges, just to show you, I wiped the edges with my finger and there's hardly any coverage. It's so transparent. So that's fine because when it's dry, I'll paint the edges that colour. Um, so the idea is there. I think it just, I think maybe I need slightly thicker paints and different paints. I think the deco art actually was a mistake um, because it, it's, su I, I don't know how it, I don't know how, what the the chemical difference is with deco art paints, but it's such a different consistency to other paints. Um, I often find it can take over and I think that's what's happening a bit here. It's very pretty, but it, it seems to take over. So I'll be eager to see how this dries and whether I can really crisp up those edges and, and save this. So when this was still wet, I wasn't sure about it. Now it's dry, I love it, so happy with it. I have tweaked it a little bit, I have embellished it slightly, but it's made all the difference. Um, so the first thing just to show you, if you look up really close, you can see. So here, can you see there, there's some extra blue. The, that's where the purple just um, spilt over, so it wasn't a straight edge. Um, and I think probably on that edge there, there was just a few places, maybe up there. I can't, do you know, I can't even remember where, ah, oh, it was there. I can't even remember where it was. So I've added a bit of extra blue and I've added a bit of extra silver just to create a more symmetrical pattern um, around each of the points. And then I've added with a Posca pen, this is a white pen and this was kind of by accident, but when I, I started at the, at the middle there, and then drew out towards the edge and the, the pen faded each time. I think it's running out of it. Um, but can you see nearer the base there, it's brighter white and then it fades. So it was by accident that that happened, but look at the effect it's given. So to me, it suddenly made it look quite 3D. So I did purple on the alternate um, edges with the Posca pen and then the faded out white appearance to me, it just it seems to give it some sort of 3D effect. And I really, really like that. Um, I think I would hang it this position, but for a while, I also had it like this. And my, my daughter couldn't handle it. She absolutely hated it on the side like that. So I've, I have, I've put it back, um, but I'd be interested to know what you think. Do I hang it this way up as it was designed or on an angle? Um, so the details are really pretty in the centre um, and then I love this edge. I love how it's just very faint, very subtle over that blue um, and it just gives it a real soft effect. Um, and then just let me show you the shine because this blue comes to life when you look at it from the, a different angle. It's just the most amazing blue. And of course, there's so much silver in that star as well and the iridescent purple, the whole thing is shiny and shimmery, um, absolutely love it. Um, I will probably varnish it, I might resin it, I'm not sure, resin would look absolutely amazing. Um, I guess the alternative is that I just resin the star. Not sure yet, I'm <laughs> just thinking out loud. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Great, take care everyone, bye.